This knife has a straight edge on it, so it's very easy. And maybe in our world here, there lives a happy little mountain. So I've been in Alaska for a couple weeks now, and today is the 4th of July. And I'm going into Walmart, you might be wondering why, uh, I'm gonna pick up some bear spray, because I'll be heading up, up to the mountain to do some geocaching today, after we do some festivities in the city. And uh, I'll be watching some fireworks from atop a mountain overlooking the city. How cool is that? So we're gonna go in and grab some bear spray, because we're gonna be out in the wilderness, and there has been some bear attacks lately, so I thought it'd be good to be safe. Anyways, to Walmart! The smaller one for like, uh smaller bears? Oh, no, not particularly. It's just the amount that they have in them. This will also shoot 30 feet. This one will shoot 35. Oh. So now it comes with a holster. Yeah. Let's go for the small one. Sure. Yeah, so turns out bear mace, not cheap. It was like $35 at Walmart. Holy crap, even without tax, uh, that's expensive. But at least I guess if I get attacked by a bear, I'll be able to spray him in the eyes or whatever. Check this out. I got a monopod on clearance, 10 bucks. Can't beat that. That was a pretty cool buy. And then I just got some stuff so I don't stink. Anyways, there we are. I'm off to town. I'm going to see what's going on in, in the square, the festivities. And then we're going to head up to the mountain. So, see you there. Okay, we're at the Delaney Park, if I said that right, where all the uh, festivities are going on. Uh, just ahead of me, I can hear people on the uh, loudspeaker singing songs and stuff. But uh, there's some geocaches here, and there's actually a geocache event. So, I'm going to go check that out as, as well. So, let's go see what it's all about. Yeah, so apparently people are supposed to meet here uh, at like seven o'clock in the morning for like a geocache party or something so there's no geocache here but uh, it was just a meeting spot oh well I'm gonna check out the rest of the festival and then I'll head up to the mountain standard as far as those like carnival park little things going on. It was pretty big. Uh, left some rides and food and all kinds of good stuff but uh, there's actually one more park that I want to head to uh, before I go up to the mountain so uh, I'll see you in a little bit. So in 1964 a giant earthquake rocked the Anchorage area. It sent tsunamis to wipe out neighboring towns. There was landslides that destroyed entire neighborhoods and they erected this park. Uh, I believe it was one of the old neighborhoods that got destroyed in a landslide from the earthquake and it's called Earthquake Park. So there's some geocaches here that I'm going to do and just take a walk around. You can see moose here. It's just a nice little area that they have carved out. And there's a little marker here if you could, if you want to read the information, if I could hold the camera still. Uh, so I'm going to go see if I could find some geocaches. There's one like right over here in the parking lot. I'm going to go take a look and then we'll head a little bit into the interior of the park.
Okay, so we're getting close to one of the caches. It's, uh, I guess it's down here. Uh, let's see. That'll focus. 131 feet, it says. Oh. There we go. But 131 feet away, and I gotta go down this. So I'll just be careful. This is one of the neighborhoods that was uh, taken out by the landslide, I guess. There's like a hill part. There was little plaques up, up top there. I kind of said that. So, just being very careful and gingerly walking down here. These uh, mosquitoes are were pretty bad. They've been eating me the entire time. I'm gonna put my uh, phone down and, and just hike down this. I'll, I'll be right, right, right back. Okay, we're really close. And geez, these mosquitoes are really, really, really going after me. We're like 26 feet away. I must be over here. Probably down this little ledge, maybe. It's a small cache, so yeah, I think I have to go down over here. Right, I'm gonna put the camera down again so I can get down this hill without falling. Okay, I just got down. We're 18 feet, 15 feet, 13 feet, and I think I've been bit probably 20 times. Uh, it's gotta be right down here somewhere. It's supposed to be a little tiny container. It said it's not snowproof, so. I don't really want to go down there in that mud. Oh wait a minute, man. my compass is uh, sounds like night feet, 19 feet. It's around here somewhere. So I'm just gonna keep looking. There was this like little um, area up here that looked suspicious. I think it might be up in here. Look like, right up in here. I don't see anything. Oh jeez. Where is it? Hold on a minute. Just put my hood up. Dang these bugs. Okay, so uh, up here it says like four feet. Maybe it'll be. Oh, I found it. There it is. You see it? Must be able to see. It. All right, cool. Let's pull it out. <laughs> nice thing about Alaska, you don't have to worry about snakes and stuff. All right, open it up. Jeez, get out of here, bugs. There's a little bit of stuff in there. It's like there's like a. And I'm not sure exactly what it says. Sorry, I'm out of frame. I don't know if there's any trackables or anything. Not a whole lot. I'm not going to take anything. I do have stuff to leave, but God, I'm going to go down here for a second. Get away from these bugs. There's like a nest up there or something. I'll just sign this paper and I'm going to take off. So I'll turn the camera off now. I know it's all shaking. Terrible. Sorry. So right behind me, you can see one of these uh, steel I-beams. I don't know if this is a piece of art or if it's actually something from the earthquake itself, but pretty cool either way. I thought that was neat to share. Well, the one out in the parking lot, I couldn't find, but I did find the one that was uh, in the woods. So I got one and one here at the uh, earthquake park. I'm gonna go out and get a, a, a little bit to eat, and then uh, I guess I'll start heading up to Flat Top. So. Okay, and then there's some people coming up there, and so you kind of climb up that way. So there's actually a bit of two-hand held you know, putting one hand on one rock and finding a handhold to get up.